What's up, LHS, and welcome to The Watch. I'm Caitlin Hall. And I'm Danielle Wolf. We've got some news, so let's get right into it. The Biomed Science class is hosting a Healthy Hustle 5K color run on May 12th at 5 p.m. at Kepner's Woods. The cost is $20 for adults and $10 for students. All proceeds will go to the Hawking Hills Inspire Shelter, and registration forms are available in the athletic office. We're going back to the 70s. Join us for the Freshman Dance Disco on Saturday, April 14th from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $5 and will be on sale in the athletic office with Miss Snyder from Monday, April 9th through Friday, April 13th. In international news, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un visited China from Sunday to Wednesday on an unofficial visit, according to China's state agency Xinhua. The trip was Kim's first known journey abroad since he came into power in 2011 and is believed by analysts to serve as preparation for upcoming summits with South Korea and the U.S. In national news, after a 20-year hiatus, Roseanne is back. With 18.1 million viewers, Roseanne dominated every other broadcast when its revival aired. The next episode you can expect is airing on the 11th. Now here's weather with Kelly Mann. Hello out there, Logan. It's time for this week's forecast. Friday, April 6th, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 29. Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 39 and a low of 22. Sunday will be mostly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 30. If I were you, I would go ahead and grab an umbrella and a winter coat because Monday there will be rain and snow showers throughout the day with a high of 47 and a low of 32. And finally, Tuesday, April 10th, there will be rain showers throughout the day with a high of 45 and a low of 27. With all this rain coming, I guess we'll have to stick to inside jokes. <laughs> Get it? Inside jokes. This is Kelly Mann bringing you your weekly weather on The Watch. Now here's sports with Joseph Hurst and Colton Castle. Welcome to The Watch Sports. This is Joseph Hurst and Colton Castle. Let's get right into it. Logan played Sheridan in a doubleheader on Saturday. They managed to win the first game 8-5, holding off a late Sheridan rally. They started the game 8-0 and then held them off the rest of the game to get the win, with Emma Rutter hitting her third home run of spring. The second game had to be played on Logan's field due to weather conditions. Logan didn't have the same luck this second game, falling 13-2. The varsity baseball team traveled up to Sheridan this past Saturday to take on the Sheridan Generals in a doubleheader. The Chiefs lost both games, but by combining two runs, you literally can't get closer than that. In the first game, the Chiefs lost 1-0. In the second game, the Chiefs took a 5-4 lead into the top of the eighth inning before the Generals hit a two-run double to walk off with a 6-5 win and complete the sweep. The Logan Chieftains had a rainy opening to their track season last Thursday. Chillicothe took first place at the girls' meet, scoring 100 points, with Logan placing fourth out of 15 teams. Hillsborough took the crown on the boys' meet, scoring 76 points, with Logan tying Zane Trace for fourth out of 16 teams. Boys' tennis bounced back from a tough loss last week, dominating the visiting Unioto Sherman 5-0. Congratulations, boys. Keep up the hard work. This is The Watch Sports with Joseph Hurst and Colton Castle. Texas Forever. That's all we have for today, LHS. Until next time, I'm Daniel Wolf. And I'm Caitlin Hall. And you're watching The, the Watch. Watch. Thank you.